For the second time this week, a Carnival cruise ship has had embarrassing malfunctions out on the water, and customers' vacations have been cut short. Over the past month, that cruise line has been in constant damage control. So, will this have a lasting impact on the industry? Today, News Channel 15's Megan Royce got input from travel agents on just that. Megan? Mark, I spoke with several travel agents today to see if they're noticing a drop off in interest of cruises. You may be surprised by what they had to say. Despite several malfunctions with Carnival Cruise Line's giant floating playgrounds, Covington Travel says people in northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio are still booking cruises without any worries. They might joke about it or something, but I wouldn't say that it's affected people's opinion of cruises. Karma Muter has been a travel agent for 25 years. She says she has never seen a cruise line have continuous issues with ships. They are going to give every single carnival ship a thorough investigation. The president of Travel Leaders and Waters says yesterday they learned one of their customers was impacted by issues with the carnival ship. We looked through our records and we noticed we did have one client who was scheduled to be on um, the Dream leaving actually Saturday, tomorrow. Uh, so we quickly, the agent quickly got on the phone, let the client know that we had already started to look for ways that we could save their vacation. Some travel agents in the Fort Wayne area say you shouldn't rule out a cruise for a vacation idea quite yet. Water says it's projected that 21 million people will take a cruise this year. That's a 5% increase from last year. We feel very strongly that cruising is still a very safe vacation choice. Now, results from our poll on Wayne.com reveal 69% of people who took the poll may reconsider taking a cruise based on all the malfunction with Carnival ships. In Studio 15, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.